Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 9th of November 2018. And the time has just gone 20 past 1 p.m. or 13.20 GMT. This week's Chart of the Week is the Euro Sterling. Uh, as we can see here from the chart, uh, since August, Euro Sterling has been in a fairly obvious downward trend. A nice steady, a steady series of lower lows and lower highs. Uh, in fact, actually yesterday, uh, on the Thursday, the 8th of November, uh, Euro sterling fell to a seven-month low. So that gives an indication of how, of how, of how bearish um, that this market is. Uh, if you take a look here at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, we can see as the market's moving lower uh, on the price action, there's a steady increase in negative momentum. So the downward move in the underlying market has been confirmed by the steady increase in negative momentum. So it's, it's clear that the, uh, the, the sellers, the bears, are in control. If this... Um, if this negative tr negative trend continues in the kind of near uh, short to kind of medium term, we could be looking heading back down towards the late April lows of zero spot 86.80, or even down as the down as low down as low as the mid April lows of zero spot 86.20. Uh, but I do want to talk about the, po the possibility of a near term bounce, a short term bounce. If you take a look at this candle here, um, it has a possibility. Uh, of a bullish engulfing. We, we haven't actually quite got there yet. Um, obviously, the, the day has yet, has, has yet to play out. Uh, but earlier in the day, the, the, this candle was looking a bit larger. And uh, if we do see this candle here, today's candle could completely uh, cover or engulf the body of yesterday's candle. That could be a sign we're in for a near-term bounce. And if you do have, have a, a near-term bounce uh, in, in the next few, few days, we could look at heading back up towards the zero spot 88 mark. Uh, notice how it acted as both resistance and support not too long ago and if we go beyond that we could be looking heading up towards maturity moving average this red line here at zero spot 88.36 once again notice how it acted as, 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 as support on a number of occasions recently and if a metric or a level has acted as support and or resistance recently it makes it the more likely uh, that, that it will do again in the in the near future but there's obviously no guarantees of that uh, it's only if we take out the uh, the october high of zero spot 89 89 39. Could then we actually begin to begin to believe uh, that the, kind of the, the downward trend that's been in place uh, since August has come to an end and has been negated? If you are going to trade uh, Euro sterling, please keep in mind next week we have a number number of important economic indicators out from both the UK and the eurozone. Uh, out, out of the UK next week we have CPI, unemployment, and average wages, and from the eurozone we have uh, GDP and CPI numbers. So this is likely to add volatility to, to this uh, particular currency pair. If you have any comments or any 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 uh, uh, opinions you'd like to contribute to this video or any of the videos we made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. And that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.